Hi everybody, this is a video of the Mazda 40 watt Pearl Incandescent GLS light bulb. As you can see, this is the 40 watt Mazda GLS light bulb I got from eBay. And as you can see on it, it says Mazda Style Light 40 watt Pearl. And on the, t on the top here, it says Mazda 40 watt Pearl 240 volts. And um, does it say anything else at the back? Oh, it's got loads of instructions on it. It says Mazda. And I thought I'd get this bulb because this bulb really caught my eye. And it's one of those Mazda 40 watt Pearl GLS light bulbs. And I thought I'd get one of them because it had Pearl and Clear. So I thought I'd get that because it really caught my eye. And as you can see on the top where it says Mazda. And uh, it's saying lighting your home in style. Yeah, lighting your home in style. Uh, this bulb has a Pearl finish wa uh, which will give you... A soft evenly spread light to enhance your decor and furnishings uh, 25 watt for unprotected outdoor use 40 watt for lighting specific areas of rooms um, 60 watt for room lighting 100 watt for central light fittings in any room 150 watt for extra lighting brilliance safety Number one, always switch off the electricity before changing your Mazda bulb. Number two, let the bulb cool down, cool completely before removing it or remove it using a dry cloth or a towel, imagine. So anyway, on uh, number three, uh, glass dispose carefully. Number four, always check that your light bulb is of the correct wattage and cap type for the fitting. Uh, the Mazda style light range, it's all your lighting needs. Quality, yeah, a quality British product. Um, Imego, yeah, Imego, I don't know how it's pronounced it. Uh, Imego Lighting and um, Albany House, Burling Road, New Malden. I don't know, what does it say? Is it say Maiden or Malden? Oh, yeah, it says Malden, Surrey, KT3 for NJ, a Thorn EMI company. I don't know the thing called company, but anyway, the the Mazda's um, um the company's called Mazda, and uh, does it say anything else anywhere? No, I've read all that, and it's a nice coloured carton. It's a uh, red, yellow, and green. Yeah, red, yellow, and green. It's like colour like the water, one of the water pistols, well, water guns, and uh, and it says forty watt. Yeah, Mazda forty watt pearl, two hundred forty volts. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna get out of this box, and you'll see one second or two, guys. And I had to read all these little tips, so. Sorry, I also had to scratch my, my top lip, so, so, anyway, here I have the, the Pearl 40 Watt uh, GLS bulb, there it is, so, sorry, I couldn't get a bit of my speech right, but that's what I do when I'm doing a bit of YouTube, and never mind, as you can see on it now, it says, on the edge, it says, Made in Britain, 40 Watt Mazda, 240 volts, and it's, uh, it's like a potato, the way I hold it, it looks like Venus, and, um, you can see right through it's very nice and, and i've tested it and it works perfectly and uh, it's got the good filament with the stainless steel uh, bayonet cap and i love and i love it, it reminds me of uh, one of my nanan my nanan used to have light bulbs like these when they used to have a uh, morrison's at darnell she used to go there years ago when she was alive but anyway guys let's get the bulb into the socket now so that's it oh it's fitted in nice and tightly now and it's fitted in like so so anyway guys all I'm going to do now is switch off the switch off this big lamp now so right that's it now the big lamp's gone off now so switch on this light bulb now here we go wow as you can see it does shine a very nice soft pearl color and um like it said um like it says on it it says uh, the 40 watt is for lighting specific uh, areas of rooms it's like Usually 40 watt ones, especially in this in this uh, shape or style, how you call it, um, usually for like bedside lamps. But if you have it in your uh, in your uh, ceiling hang light to light up light the hallway, it doesn't shine that bright because it's only got 40 watts. Or even your bedroom, usually use a 60 watt or a 100 watt. But anyway, as you can see now, it's um, lit my breakfast tea table a nice, uh, nice uh, plain white colour. Well, it's like goldy colour, so... <laughs> So anyway guys, let's take a good uh, look into this bulb and as you can see, um, yeah, I used to look at the light bulbs in my Nanan's house years ago um, when she was alive. Her overall light bulbs, they hardly ever used to break because she didn't have them on as often. They used to have thick etches on like that and they're all named Mazda and it's nice one of those old vintage light bulbs. Like, I think these ones are like from the very 
late 1980s and coming towards early 90s as as you can see at the style of this carton now morrison's especially morrison's at darnell used to sell bulbs in mazda like that especially at 40 watts but uh, when uh, before we moved on to um well a couple of years before we moved on to fluorescent ones uh when my mum when i used to live at home my mum and dad she always they always buy like out of gls they always either buy 60 watt or 100 watt but i always preferred 100 watt especially in landing lights because it lights up more brighter i used to think a 60 watt is a bit a little bit dim but i used to think um 100 watts the best uh wattage for upstairs like well especially for the upstairs and downstairs landing light and and what have you so and it's got this uh barcode on it so anyway guys let's take another good glimpse into it so as you can see it's a very nice pearl yeah, a nice pearl incandescent light bulb. It's not perfectly clean though, but I, I don't want to actually dampen it because, uh, especially with star drops, because it'll take that etch off and and what have you. And that's all it does. So let's look all around my room. Oh, it looks like a nice soft white. You don't see it shining pearl in the. Um, well, you might see it shining pearl in the shadow, but I just hard to tell. But it's more clear when if I put a clear one in. So. Um, um as I got this off eBay I had four of them. Well like I said I had three pearls and one clear, so the clear one will be next in in the next night or two guys. So so as you can see now the uh the nice uh, forty watt GLS light bulb is as a it's its warmth at forty watts warm and bright. Well it will be hot though because it's an incandescent light bulb and incandescent light bulbs do get red hot and and that's all it does. And the best thing to do is let it cool down. Usually they they, they don't stay hot after when they turn off. They start to cool down for a little while, and that's all it does. And um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful bulb. That bulb now, bulbs like that with an old etch on it at the top does take me back memories. It really, really does. And and uh, a forty watt one. And I thought I'd get this off eBay because it really caught my eye. I was a bit unsure when I looked at it in the first place. I thought, shall I buy it or not? But then the second time when I looked at it, as it was still there, I decided to buy it. And it didn't really say buy now, but I decided to buy it. And so, so anyway, guys, it's been a while now since I've been doing some light bulbs on uh, YouTube. But I've done some other other machinery tips uh, that I've done uh, on YouTube uh, recently. So, anyway, guys, uh, once again, so as you can see now, the uh, the forty watt bulb is uh, so it's full brightness at uh, forty watts, bright and warm and everything, everybody. So all I'm going to do now is switch off this uh, light bulb now. So. Right, that's it now. That that's gone out now. So I'll turn this big light back on. Right, that's it now, guys. Uh, the big light's back on now, everybody. So, anyway, guys. So as you can see now, uh, this is a video of the Mazda 40 watt pearl incandescent light bulb and everything, everybody. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. So please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, everybody.